Have you ever played the Blockbuster game? It's a game where you have to describe films to other people, either with one word, a quote from the film, or acting out a scene from the film. At the beginning of the game, you have a head-to-head -head with another opponent. You have to name films that fit that category. So if you get a category that is, say, Adam Sandler films, you would go back and forth naming off a film that is made or stars Adam Sandler. So you would say Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, Jack and Jill, so on and so forth until someone is unable to come up with a film in that category. So I've played this game with friends multiple, multiple, multiple times. And when we played this game once, we got a category of films. I believe it was films in outer space. So we went on for a while naming films and the other team got stuck and actually had no answers. So one of them just blurted out something random, uh, Pinocchio in outer space. We laughed and thought, okay, that's dumb. There's no way that's a real film. So we challenged it which basically means the round ends and we basically are gonna challenge that film. But however, turns out when we did our research, that is actually a real film. Yes, Pinocchio in Outer Space is a real film. So my first reaction to finding out about this film is really similar to actually the only comment left on the film's fit creation page, which is, what the hell is this? Pinocchio in Outer Space was released December 22nd, 1965 with a rating of approved. The film was directed by Ray Goosens, who I've never heard of before, but he directed another film called Asterix the Gaul, which looks like as much fun as this film. Pinocchio has become a real boy, but his mischief has caused the blue fairy overseeing him to turn him back into a puppet. For Pinocchio to become human again, he must fight a space whale with his new alien pal, Nurdle. This film is exactly what it sounds like. But we had to dive into the film and watch it. And that is exactly what I did. So we start out with, wait, wait, this isn't Pinocchio. What, what, what is this? There's a full version of this on YouTube that was clearly taped over someone's VHS tape. And the beginning, like the first minute of it is this weird Russian meeting. And it, I don't know why it was left in the video, but it was. I'm actually going to use a better version for the actual video here. So we see two fairies talking and one mentions Pinocchio. She was responsible for making him a real boy. The puppet I turned into a boy. But he became an asshole and was turned back into a puppet, which means only his nose changed, basically. We go to Earth to meet Pinocchio, who for some reason has blonde hair now, even though he is most commonly known for having darker hair. He just looks like Richie Rich now. He argues that school is dumb, but Geppetto reassures him that what he is doing is good. I didn't hear you come in. <laughs> and then we get a news report. We interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin. Astro, the wrong whale in outer space. So apparently there is a whale in outer space. Also, this world has flying ants, flying squirrels, and flying fish. I mean, I guess this is what climate change would do, so... Pinocchio tells Geppetto he's gonna catch the whale, and Geppetto tells him to shut up. He goes to sleep that night, unaware an alien has landed on their planet. The next day, he goes off to school and breaks into a musical number, which seems very much like zip a dee doo da day made three years prior to this film. It's a happy dappy dippy dappy lullab a dappa doozy all the way. On his walk, he runs into a fox and a cat who want to eat him, I think. I really don't know. But this is really weird considering that Pinocchio knows them by name, so I guess not, but it's kind of implied. It's really weird. They break out into a song about doing the impossible, which includes a spider being able to make webs, which doesn't make sense because that is what a spider is supposed to do. Pinocchio tells them that he will hypnotize Astro the space whale, and they con him into buying a How to Hypnotize pamphlet. Look into me eyes. You are a penguin. Penguin! He goes around scaring animals away and believes he has successfully hypnotized them. Look into my eyes. You're a penguin. As he jazzes away, Pinocchio ends up in a field where he believes he is being chased by the space whale. Though if he would just look up, he would realize it is a spaceship. Say, wooden head, what are you trying to do? Wreck my ship? The pilot of the ship is Nurdle the Turtle. He was trying to land on Mars, but completely missed it and landed on Earth. Also, he was unable to realize that Earth is not red. I, I thought this planet looked rather blue for the red planet Mars. He goes to leave, but Pinocchio wants to go and hypnotize the space whale. 
So Rob Whalen's face, why that's terrible. He's a hazard to navigation. Why don't your authorities pull him in? So this alien abducts this puppet. Also, this film is about 25 minutes into this point, which is almost half the runtime, and Pinocchio is finally getting into space. It's almost as bad as Jason Takes Manhattan, or better known as Jason Takes a High School Senior Cruise Party. Once in space, Pinocchio looks for the space whale, but forgets that space is kind of big. So they decide to go to Mars. After being hit by a solar flare, which screws up all their instruments, they eventually land on Mars. And Nurdle must have some outdated information about the water on Mars. There's no signs of water to speak of. They hop and skip their way to the horizon, where they see some sort of plants growing on the surface. Nurdle looks around a bit and sees a city, which means people on Earth must be blind because this shit is obviously a city. So, yeah. So the odd couple hops their way over. Before they get there, though, they realize their ship has disappeared. It turns out that Mars has crabs very giant crabs. They throw their ship around, but eventually they are able to get it back, get inside, and escape. They go to check out the city, and it looks like it's too complicated for those crabs to have built. They suspect a higher life form must have been here. By this point, we have already learned that Nurdle has a catchphrase. Ursa Minor! Ursa Minor! Ursa Minor will go up and smoke! Ursa Minor is a star constellation that is supposed to look like a bear, but really looks like a kite stuck in a tree. A giant windstorm blows over the whole place and then they escape just in time. But now they know there's a city on Mars. This could be actually be a huge discovery for people on Earth. I mean, yeah, it's covered in sand right now, but it's still intact. Never mind. They fly off and run into a weird looking asteroid. But it isn't an asteroid. It was a space whale. Space whale. We go through what looks like a birthing scene and see that they have been eaten. The blue fairy shows up to call out Pinocchio for not going to school, which just made me realize at this point. So they flew from the earth to the sun, which is why they got hit by the solar flares, and then they flew from the sun to Mars. So doing some quick math, this would be at least 230 million miles. Unless that spaceship travels more than 100 million miles an hour, which I highly doubt it does, Pinocchio has probably been missing from home for weeks, even months up to this point. Geppetto's probably on Earth freaking out right now. Excuse me, sir, uh, have you seen my son? Uh, no, what does he look like? Uh, he's made of wood and his nose grows when he lies. I don't got time for this insanity. No, no you gotta believe me. I... <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> So the fairy makes Pinocchio think about what makes a whale different from every other animal in the sea. No, that's it! The spout! They get into the blowhole, and the animators decide not to animate here. They get out of Astro, which sounds wrong, and of course he starts chasing them down. Pinocchio tries to hypnotize the whale, but it doesn't work because screaming words is not hypnosis. Of course though, he looks in his book and realizes the third trick is using a spinning object to hypnotize. Their spaceship got a bend in it when they were leaving Astro's blowhole, <laughs> and so now, of course, it spins in a perfect circle, which makes Astro become hypnotized. So then they're on their way back to Earth, but they run into an issue where they completely forgot the idea that when you re-enter an atmosphere, if you're going at a high speed, stuff will heat up a lot. So the giant space whale Astro is either going to blow up and completely be destroyed and killed, or he's going to be like a meteor and destroy Earth. Of course, they don't want either of those things to happen. So Pinocchio gets an idea. He jumps out with an attached hook to the whale and tries to reverse his spout so he would start going the other direction, which doesn't make sense, but somehow this works and Pinocchio ends up hurt and basically dead. But he's not dead because he's not a real boy, right? Well, they get back to his place safe and due to his good nature, he is now a real boy again. So then the town has a celebration for Pinocchio and apparently they gutted Astro and turned him into a blimp. Turtle goes back to his earth with one last bit of information for Pinocchio. The little dipper. With that, he blasts away, going by the two fairies from the beginning as another rocket heads to Earth to confront Pinocchio.
At the end of it all, this is actually not really a Pinocchio film. Yes, Pinocchio is the main character and it's literally called Pinocchio in Space, but there's only two parts of this that really have to do with Pinocchio. So remember, his whole thing is, is that his nose grows when he lies. Well, his nose only grows two times in this film and it's completely unnecessary to the plot. So this honestly could have been a original story and not include him at all, but you know, I guess it's easier to advertise Pinocchio than, I don't know, blonde boy then again richie rich going to space would have been pretty interesting as well also the whole mars plot line doesn't really go anywhere yes we learned that astro was created on mars but who created all these man animals and why would they do that honestly i'm waiting for the next film pinocchio versus mars at the end of it all this film is really not that terrible it has decent animation it's only an hour long so it doesn't try to pad its runtime and they somehow threw a space whale into this movie so i guess that's kind of interesting so now if you go on jeopardy and the answer is a wood boy and a turtle hypnotize a space whale from mars you can confidently answer what is pinocchio in outer space if you like this video, please leave a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to this channel and you can get more videos like this. If you hate this, well, you can do whatever you want. I'm not in control of you.